Hello, everybody. Today, we are unboxing Sketchbox. I've been super excited for this to come in. Um, I like stalked my <laughs> tracking number <laughs> like every day, multiple times, um, to see whenever it could come in. I signed up for Sketchbox because, and they're not paying me. This is not paid. They did not even send this to me for free. I am paying monthly from my own money to try this box out. Um, but I signed up for it because, as I kind of mentioned in my previous video, I have not um, really done any art in the last 8 to 10 years or so. And I got rid of a lot of my, almost all of my art supplies whenever I quit. And I, even whenever I was doing art, I didn't like branch out a lot and explore a lot. I very much stayed within like acrylics and pastels, like chalk pastels. Um, so I signed up for Sketchbot because I wanted to kind of just get given um, some art materials just to kind of try to find out like what I enjoy, what I don't. Um, so here's the Sketchbox. They do show some art on the outside, which I think is kind of neat. I like that they, um, you know, shout out to artists. That's pretty cool. Um, and that looks like it's the only thing really on the back, but I can hear some stuff rattling. So let's get into it. I'm so excited. I hope I get some materials I haven't used before. Okay. Is that the only tape? Yes. Alright, so this is what it looks like on the inside, and I think I think I signed up for the basic box. I don't think I maybe I did the premium. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, cool. So we have another. So this was the like little what's all included. I don't want to like look at it too much yet because I want to kind of be surprised. Um, but here's another kind of shout out or spotlight to um, their feature artist. And here's a piece of their work that looks really cool. Um, I'm going to have to follow this artist on Instagram. Okay. And, okay, we got a cool little sketch box sticker. Not quite sure what I'm going to stick them on, but we'll see. And then, ooh, fun stuff. Looks like I don't really have anything like this. Okay, so it looks like we have some cold press sheets of watercolor paper by Fluid, I guess. Yeah. Um... It's 140 pound. It's kind of small, which I think I'm going to like. And, oh, and it's 100% cotton, which I've heard is a uh, very good to use for watercolor, which is kind of what I've been playing around with the most lately. Um, and gouache, kind of, so like water-based. So this will be really cool to have, to try to find out a brand and see if 100% watercolor paper is actually what I want to invest my money in which I've heard you're supposed to, but we'll see. I also have Drawing Ink by Walnut. Okay. That's kind of cool. I've been interested in inks. I've seen um, quite a few artists using them on YouTube, and I really like kind of how they look like watercolor, um, but, I mean, they don't, like, reactivate with water, which seems kind of cool. All right, so it looks like here I have a liner... Um, that's a point four, so I don't know if you can see that, but it's pretty small. It looks like um, kind of an average size, which is cool. I think I have some Micron liners that I bought um, whenever I like went and bought all new art supplies. Um, and if y'all want to see all the stuff that I have now that I've like bought over the last couple of weeks, I guess, then yeah, just. Leave a comment, hit the like, let me know, because I'd be more than happy to show you. Um, but I have some microns that I like, and I usually use like the 5 and the 8. So this one's kind of cool. I might use that a lot. Alright, next we have a Conte pin in the color Sanguine. I don't remember, are these... I think these are the, like, chalk pastel pins, I think. If I remember correctly. 
I don't know. We'll swatch it all out. Okay, and then I have a Royal Soft Grip uh, size 6. It looks like, oh, I don't know what this is called, a flat? But it has a rounded tip. Those have a certain name. I don't remember what they're called. Um, but that's cool. New brushes are always fun. And then, ooh, I have a Copic marker. These are exciting. I've never used Copics before. Um, I wanted to when I was younger, because especially in middle school when I was starting to really get into art and draw and stuff, I was super into manga. Um, and so I wanted to draw like them and create manga, but Copics, especially as a middle schooler who um, just like lived or could only buy my own stuff off of my allowance, like Copics were not not something that I could even consider getting. But it looks like here I have, um, it's in like a brown color, and I have the chisel and the brush tip. So that's fun. And it's in Carib Cocoa. Okay, last thing I think is, oh no, it broke. Is another Conte pencil in sepia. Oh yeah, look. Here's its little, oh, and here comes my cat. She's checking it out too. She likes, she'll get this box once I'm done with it. All right, and it looks like that is done. So I'm gonna throw this box on the floor so she can <laughs> get in it without being on camera. And let's kind of play with these supplies. And um, sorry, her tail is still just all up in our business. Um, so let's play with these supplies. Let me get my cat off my desk. And we, yeah, we'll get to playing with them. What I wanna do first is swatch it in my sketchbook. Cause I kind of already have like dedicated my first couple of pages in my sketchbook to swatching like some of the art supplies that I have been getting. Um, so we'll just go ahead and like keep using that. Let me make sure that y'all can see that. Okay, I'm actually gonna zoom in just a little bit. Okay. All right, so I guess we'll swatch everything we have here first. Um, let's see, we got the micron first, so we'll do that. My hands feel, I'm probably gonna be really shaky today. This morning I worked out, um, it was like my chest and arm day, and it was intense. But okay, so what is this? What brand is this? Just like W, just black liner? It says indelible ink, but at first I thought it said inedible ink, and I was like, oh, <laughs> I didn't know any of these could be edible. Um, okay, it looks like it's the brand Molito. So we're just gonna do like, Oh my gosh, okay. Mala. Ooh, I really like this. And it's in the point four. It feels really smooth. Like, I I mean, I'm happy with the microns. Um, I bought them, I had never really used them before, but one of the YouTubers that I watch, a few of the YouTubers that I watch um, use them. And so I just, I bought them because they had them. But I really like how smooth this one writes. I feel like the microns, especially the smaller you go, get a little bit more scratchy. Um, but this is smooth. I'm interested to see how it does on the cold finish paper though, because um, I did notice that, or I have noticed that whenever I line on like the cold press paper that's more textured, they definitely, like you can obviously tell, and they feel a lot more scratchy. So I'm interested to see what that's gonna be like on there. Okay, and so then we have our, let's try our Copic, because I've always wanted, this is like a childhood dream of mine, and now I have a Copic. <laughs> I guess I could go buy some now. Um, I could afford to buy a few, I guess, maybe one of the like super small sets, but I mean, I, I'm trying to get the hang of watercolor and gouache right now, so I'm trying not to throw myself into too many mediums, like investing myself in too many of them. Ooh, those are, that's nice. I like that one. It felt like super spongy and soft. This is definitely scratchier. But I love this brush tip. Oh my goodness. All right. Markers might be the next thing that I get into because that felt really good. 
Oh, I guess I should. Copic. Guys, my cat's about to knock something off the shelf. She's been like napping up until this moment, but the moment I turn that camera on, she's like, hey, I'm here. It's typical. Typical Nova. Okay, I really like that brush tip. Um, all right, so let's try these Conte pencils. This one's in Sanguine, and it's Conte a Paris. And this one is Sepia. Definitely didn't sharpen that as nice as I had hoped. Okay, and then let's get into this drawing ink. I'm excited. All right. Now, I've heard that you're not supposed to just like dip this straight into the ink because of like bacteria and stuff. So, I, I guess let's pour a little bit into my little... Guys, my arms are so shaky. And it's been like hours since I worked out. Ooh, that's a lot of ink. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's let's do this. Okay, that's really pretty. It reminds me of um, I watched a video recently on like Sumi ink, where somebody was drawing with Sumi ink, and um, it looks it reminds me a lot like that. Oh my gosh. Y'all, my cat is... I have this, like, really shaky, cheap, like, shelf unit made out of metal and plastic. And I swear she's about to just knock it over. Okay. Alright, so let's put some water in there. And see what this looks like with water. Can we, like, spread it? Oh yeah, okay, so it's gonna perform a little bit like watercolor. Nice. I wonder if it reactivates like watercolor. Oops, I did that to see if Copic would smear, uh, and then I realized that I have that brown color, so <laughs> my brush isn't clean. <laughs> and I know that these will smear. Um, oh, let's see if this is some more water. Okay, good. So yeah, this is definitely a black liner is waterproof, which is good. That's what I like about the microns. Okay, so let's see. They give us a little, a little set, like a little block. Then they have like, let's see. Let's move my sketchbook out of the way. All right, so they give us our little art block and they give us this. So it looks like he draws a lot of like people, but then the front of the box also had like this little toucan with like flowers and stuff. So, oh, but that's not the same artist. Okay. Ooh, y'all, I've been like working on my portraiture, but you know what, we're just gonna do it. Let me go fill up some water. Um, so I'm not just using this little thing so I can clean my brush and I'll be back and we can start trying to create something. I want us to like kind of, I guess like thumbnail out some ideas. I also haven't warmed up today. Um, I haven't done my daily practice because after my workout this morning I was exhausted <laughs> and I couldn't really lift my arms for a while. Um, so let me get this cleaned off. Okay. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna go with pencil first because these are kind of new to me so I I feel like I would be very overwhelmed 
um, if I like started planning and sketching. All right, so with this block, we could do long ways, which is kind of what they did, like a little postcard. Or we could do portrait. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna set this here. I'm gonna set this up here for me. I don't, y'all can't see that, but I can. And let's see if we can get any I do kind of like that portraiture. Um, I, I don't know. I feel like I can't do that, which I, I can't do theirs. And I need to stop thinking like I shouldn't do it if I can't. Because, right, you never, you're not going to get better unless you practice. So let's just do it. Let's do. I feel like drawing multiple faces though like they have would be very overwhelming for me. So I'm just gonna do one. So let's kind of just like plan out. Like where, do I want it straight on? Let's do a little to the side. I really need to practice being able to get my eyes right. Um, <laughs> whenever they're on the side. Cause I'm terrible about that. So eyes are going to go here, I do like a bigger eye look, nose is going to go there, mouth is going to go there, which means ears will go here, and the other you can't see. Okay. Uh, let's do that. Okay, let's I already draw, like, drew those lines really dark, um, so I know me, and I know that it's just going to get a huge mess. So I'm going to lighten this up a little bit, um, and kind of go back over. Okay. So... Alright, so one thing I'm going to control with these guys, even though they're inside, but also make them look like they're different. <laughs> Sorry, that doesn't make sense. Um, like, showing that this is like a full eye because you're seeing more of the front, but I think I did better on that. I even tried to bring out to a point how I did this, um, which I need that way to go. Okay. This is just a good, I'm still focusing way too much on making it right. Okay, let's just get it down. Okay. So there, and then. some little like some of that okay still not super happy about the eyes it's a very basic but you know what I am still very much a beginner so I'm happy with that though so let's switch her on here okay so what if I kind of like here let's practice on her So what if I do just like a wash of brown for her skin tone? Alright, <laughs> you can already see my mediocre <laughs> water color skills uh, <laughs> doing stuff. That's not intended. Okay, so what if we do like a medium wash for her skin? And then I want this to be sharper, so let me get my... Oh, I broke it again. Two hours later. Okay. Woo! 
Man, I forgot how dusty and dirty pastels are, which that's what I loved about them. Okay. So we do like a wash for her face. It looks kind of like coffee. I like that. Okay. And then what if we do her like her eyes and oops. she's got like nice brown eyes. Okay. Alright, that left eye still a pot mask, but that's okay. And then what if we use like this kind of this for like her lips? Y'all, this cat. I don't even know what she's messing with. Funky, but you can tell it's a nose, which is better than most of my noses. All right, what if we do like her hair? With this pocket, right? And so. I have no clue really how to like make this not streaky. Oh, you can't see her eyebrows. Oops. Okay. Okay. I know I'm not a fan of her eyebrows with the pocket. What if I use the Copic? What if after I do the coloring of her face, I go in and I color her hair? With these? And then the Copic I use for like, I can use it for shading. I have no clue how to shade a chin at this angle, but I mean, there it is. I could use the Copics for her eyes. I really like it though, but I want to use the Copic too because I want to use everything that they give me. What if we do the Copic as the base color of her hair, like we have it, right? And then we use this as like... Okay, I actually kind of like that. Okay, yeah, I like that. So we're gonna do Copic as her base hair color, the ink for her skin, and then I'll do my best to use this Conte. Worst case, we won't use the Conte for her um, details. We'll use the black liner. Let me see what that looks like, just to play with it. So if we have to do that, um, I won't be mad. Okay. All right, so now let's play with our pretty girl here. All right, so let's do the wash of her face. I'm gonna start light and then I can decide if we wanna build it up. Activated or not. Whoops. Oh. Oh, hopefully I'm not just like covering her with my head. Um, so I'm using a borrowed camera that doesn't have one of those fancy little like flips. So in order to see what it looks like, I have to stand up and look at it. Sorry, I'll try to keep my head back a little bit more. Okay. Oh, I guess it looks like she's not wearing any clothes. Maybe we'll fix that. <laughs> Alright. So let's see. We want her to let this layer dry. And then we'll go in and add some shading. I think I like her having that just kind of like tan look. Her cheek dress out a lot. That's okay. I'm trying not to be so judgmental without my heart. All right. Her face is still kind of dry. Whoops. And I had Conti on. <laughs> oh no. Okay. That's fine. So while that's drying, um, I guess I'll do her hair. Of her hair. Oh, this is super smooth on this watercolor paper. So that streak, at least looks kind of naturally streaked. Well, you know what I didn't do? Uh, I didn't leave spots for highlight. Maybe I can work that in. Her ear looks really different. <laughs> Sorry. 
on her face. So I'm gonna go in again with a little bit of water and a little bit of ink. I'm gonna try doing like a wet on wet and see if that, I don't know if that's really the best way to go, but that's how I'm gonna go. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I think I just shoved my head in the camera. All right, and I know that this is supposed to be like shadow, so I'm hoping that I'm shadowing it correctly. Here, should have some shadow under it. Oh, I totally forgot her eyebrows. All right. Um. Okay. She's just gonna have some bushy eyebrows, which is fine. All right. This one's a lot better. Let me go get on the laundry. All right. Let's shade her ear and around this little piece. I think there's also like because there's like collar under here, right? So let's throw in some shading there just for the heck of it. There, right? I'm doing this totally without reference. So. Okay, and that's a really harsh line on her face. So I'm gonna try to calm it down a little bit. Okay, that's a little better. Still kind of has a little line there, but I'm not like super mad about it. Okay, and then I know that there's like shading under. Nose. Okay, I only go two degrees with shading because I know what I'm doing, and I don't want her to look like overworked. Like I just did there. So <laughs> we're gonna leave it at that. And now let's go in with this guy. Let's see if I can make it a little sharper. Oh, breaking him. You're doing it, little guy. We got this. Okay, I'm gonna go sharpen. Okay, let's go in with our pencils and whatnot. Okay, one eye down that I'm not super mad about. Oh, now I'm not liking all that lash that I did there with these. blenders but I don't so we're just gonna make do okay oh she's actually looking really good oh her hair is not level okay <laughs> let me fix that real quick there we go fixed okay so now I'm gonna go in Oop, okay <laughs> that'll work um all right and let's go like Right, so do that, and then this is all going under space fun. Swishing the lines <laughs> like that. I'm give a little bit of flyweights because I don't know about y'all, but my anytime I try to do like a bun, I just go for the messy look because there's no way I'm getting good with that. All right. Shirt. We haven't used the liner. 
So let's use that to give her a shirt. So that way she's not naked. Okay. No, but I love you. I'm sure the viewers love seeing your little tail. <laughs> what? I'm not touching you. Okay, thank you. Oh, no, you're coming back. All right. Pause. Cat has eaten her foot. You're the one that's to eat. Okay, here you go. Problem solved. <laughs> now she won't try to eat everywhere. <laughs> All right, back to this. All right, we're gonna use liners. Let's give her like a little box top. Is that what they're called? Where they're like. We can get. Ooh, that's gonna be fun. Let's see how dark we can get this. We just go in with no water. she turned out I'm gonna sign her I'm still figuring out how I want to sign my pieces what is today the third Now I need to break her little... So, for those of you who haven't ever used these like blocks before, with watercolor blocks they like glue the sides. Um, and so you have to like break them. I don't have um, a palette knife. I'm gonna go get, I'll be right back, I'm gonna go get just like a butter knife from my kitchen. I also don't have any of like the sealant spray anymore that you usually put on like you used to spray a final piece with pastel so that way the pastel doesn't smudge but that's okay so here she is all finished I'm so proud of her well that's gonna be the end of the video. Thanks so much for coming along this Sketchbox journey with me. Um, again, they didn't pay me. They didn't even send this to me for free. I um, spent my own money on it because I wanted to try new materials, which I got to today. I got to use drawing ink, which was a lot of fun. Um, and it didn't feel too overwhelming because I'm already kind of comfortable with watercolor. And so it kind of almost just felt like watercolor, which was nice. Um, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye.